All right, I am working on the 94, no, it's not a 94, I had a 94. This is an 89 Toyota pickup truck. I am currently in the process of bagging it. And I am going to change the door locks and door handles on this truck. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So if you wanna subscribe to the channel, That'd be great. And if you want to uh, help the channel out by making a donation in the description box below is a link to my PayPal account. And we'd greatly appreciate that. Without further ado, let's get on these door locks. All right, it's actually Thursday afternoon and I've already got the grill off. Remember I got these new pieces that I ordered. So now I wanna see if these are okay which I'm pretty sure they're going to be. Let's, are these the wrong ones? These are the ones that are, I need to go check the toolbox. Oh well, I uh, checked them with the ones that I had in the, in the shop and they're the exact same size as the other ones. I even ordered the right size this time. So it's whatever, I have enough clips to make it work. One of these days I'll get the right clips, but for now, we're going to do this and uh, get these headlights in. Oh, look. Look what we got. Little golf. See? It's a little over, I think that's what, eight? Eight or ten inches, something like that. Oh, my God. Thank you, J-Mac. Get a hold of J-Mac on Facebook. He can make you stickers. he can get you hooked up. You got to look him up on Facebook for his page. Oh, let's go ahead and get these on there. So I'm going to take these ones out, or this one out, because it's got that crack in it. That way I'm putting ones in that don't have cracks. So let's just go ahead and get these swapped out real quick, and then I'll be right back. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> Thank you, Alan. <laughs> She looks balanced. Hell yeah. God, it's so much different with a freaking headlight in there. That makes a world of difference. Yes, indeed. I'm looking, she's got wings. <laughs> All right, let's focus on the interior now. Let's see if we can get these door handles swapped out. I'm just trying to get some of this little stuff knocked out real quick because the rear end uh, is a bunch of cutting and, and whatnot. I can probably do that tomorrow after I get back from what I got to do on Friday. I got to go. I have to work <laughs> one more time for about half a day and then come home. And then uh, I'm going to get started on all of the cutting that needs to get done for the link bars and the tab mounts. So that's what I got to do as soon as I get home tomorrow. So, but for now, we're going to get these off. And all that is, is there's two screws down in here. And then there should be a screw right in here. And then we got to pop this off. There's a little dealio deal thing that you can pop this off to get that off. I'm sure a lot of you know about that. So, we're going to get this door panel off real quick. All right. When you get that screw off of there, you're actually going to pull this. It's going to have to slide out that way towards the front of the vehicle because these little hooks right here are gonna hold it in. So they actually hold it in like that, and they lock in. So you have to push this forward and then pop it out. The other thing is, is to get to these handles, you've got one screw here that holds that in. Then you've got this other one that's way up in there. And you're thinking, oh my God, how the hell do I get that? Well, Toyota engineers actually think ahead and they wanna make it easy. So let's go ahead and very easily pop this out. <laughs> and look, right there, there's your bolt. Right inside there, 10 millimeter, of course. There's my 10 millimeter. I'm gonna put an extension on this so I can reach it. Once you get that bolt out of there, again, you're gonna lift up and you're gonna push out and that'll get that out of this hole. When in doubt, look at the new one, okay? Because I've been sitting here messing with this, trying to wedge it and turn it and twist it. And if you look at this, this is 
there's a bar that goes up into that and I'm trying to pull it out. Well, if I take this and unclip it off of that, I should be able to pull that bar right out of that. To see, that holds the bar. So now I should be able to reach up in here, figure out where that is, and then pop it off, in theory. <laughs> Let me try it. This tool I got on Wish. It was like a dollar. And it's coming really handy to reaching in and popping these off. Now I was able to take this and wedge it on the back side of this and I was able to get it to pop it out because it has a little, a little nub on it that was holding it. So I was able to get that out. And now I should be able to angle this forward while holding the camera and pop it out. I don't really want to lose that. Well, maybe we do because, yep, that one has a new one. So now we got to slide that in there, but we got to figure out how the old lock works. Hey, somebody RTV'd this one. Okay, so now I'm going to look at this, and I've got the new lock set up here. We're going to tie that in and then figure out how that all links together with the this piece right here which that was oh okay that was on it that was you can't see what i'm talking about because i'm not aiming the camera right so anyway right there this piece right here was for the old lock so we're going to go ahead and pop that off of there and uh get it set up for the new one i am not gonna lie that was a little bit harder than i thought it was gonna be what i did was i got the the lock actually pushes in you take the new lock and push it in it is directional so there's a smaller side and a bigger side so you want to make sure that you get the right one for the right side your clasp is going to go out like you got this one if it's for over here it's this side that the little thing is on where is it here we go this one for the driver's side, it's going to be facing this way. And on the passenger side, it's going to end up being over here on this side. These are, like I said, directional, so they can only go in one way. There's a small one on this side. See the little, that thing right there. And then there's a big one on this side. So those go in there. It goes all the way down, locks in, and there's a, that ring set. You got to push and push and push, and it'll snap, and, that, and that'll get in. Now, the way I did this one was I had this whole piece on the outside of the door and I did the lock first. I, last, I latched onto this first, then I was able to slide it into the door and up in there and get it locked in. Then I was able to bring the other bar by hand from in here. I was able to get this one right there up in there and in to this piece here I was able to get it in there and into that that is actually your opener okay and I got that onto there and then the little piece swiveled around and locked into the bar so now I'm gonna put it together and then get that one knocked out that way I'll have new outside key locks on the truck and I don't have to think about that anymore because I was really getting tired of having to open that door, reach across to unlock this door. The other thing I don't like, I'm going to put some epoxy in here, is uh, somebody put a drill hole through that so you can reach in there and grab that and pull it up. Yeah, we don't like that either. All right, I got both of those on there. And uh, basically what I did was I went ahead and dug the rest of this out of there. So this is the old one. That's the one that had RTV on it. And then this is the original lock that goes to our key set. But I'm going to go ahead and keep that. And then I've got these. So these are used. All the hardware is still there. You can put new lock set in here. And there's that. This 
this will actually still hold the lock. It may not look exactly pretty right there, but once you have that in there, you really wouldn't notice it too bad. And besides being just a little bit scratched, I mean, other than that, though, they clean up nicely. And from far away, they look good. So, I have an extra set of handles that I could use. So, I'm glad I got the new ones, but I'm also glad that I've got a set of spares. And if anybody absolutely needs these, I have a set of handles now. So, anybody out there, you really, really, really need these, you let me know. I'll get them to you. Now we can take our set of keeps right here that we have, this new set. And we can go out here to the truck. And go right over here. Oh, look at this. Man, isn't that nice? <laughs> and then it's like a like an old car see so now we have an ignition key that goes to the ignition and a door key that goes to the door so yeah well, let's saw something but anyway all right so hopefully gives you a really good idea of how to change your door locks and your door handles and I'm gonna actually cut this and this will be our first video for, for this weekend uh, that way if somebody searches how to change a Toyota pickup truck door handles or change the locks on on it, they'll know how. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Uh, thumbs up for getting a couple things done on the truck. Um, and uh, we'll talk to you guys on the next video. Yes, there will be another video this weekend. Okay? Go build a truck. Have some fun with it. Look at me. Hi!